guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get to the old classic star menu in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Now I'm sure you all know that Microsoft took out the old classic start menu that we are all used to in Windows 7 and uh, pretty much replaced it with the modern UI. Now I'm sure a lot of us don't like the modern UI and um, there is a way that you can get the old uh, classic start menu back. Now it is not from Microsoft, it's actually like a separate program uh, that just runs when you click on the uh, start button here. So anyway, uh, I'll have all the links that you need down below and uh, as I said this will work with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Uh, as you have uh, probably noticed I'm using the uh, Windows 8.1 Pro preview but I can confirm this also does work with Windows 8.1 because I use it on my main computer which uses Windows 8.1. So uh, anyway, you just want to uh, head on over to ClassicShell.net and uh, by the way, this um, uh, program is completely free of charge, which is really cool because there are some uh, other programs like this that cost money. So anyway, uh, all you have to do is come to this site and then click on the Download Now button. Now, uh, as of the time of this video, the uh, newest version is 4.0.2. But if you're watching this at a later date, it will most likely be uh, a later version. So, uh, once you have that downloaded, you just want to uh, go to the uh, location where you save the file. I save it to my desktop. And you just want to double click on it. It's going to begin starting the setup. Just click on next down here. And you want to accept the, the license agreement and then click on next. Now this part here is uh, pretty important because there are uh, some extra features in this program besides just the classic start menu. It can also bring back the uh, classic Windows Explorer and classic Internet Explorer, uh, which is pretty cool. Now if you don't want those, which I don't really mind the new uh, Windows Explorer, so I, I, I don't really care for this feature, but uh, if you don't want it, you can just um, click on this little icon here and then click entire feature will, will be unavailable. But if you do want it and you want to, uh, you know, just try it out, then you would just uh, leave it blank. So I'm not going to install the uh, Classic Explorer and Classic IE, so I'm going to do the same for this. Now, uh, make sure you keep uh, Classic Shell Update enabled because that pretty much allows it to check uh, for, for updates, which is pretty important. Uh, and just click on Next and Install. Uh, well, it's already done, so yeah, you just want to click on... Uh, uncheck the view readme file uh, a tick box and then click on finish so now uh, that, that it's installed if you mouse over to the start button and actually click on it you're going to notice that uh, we get a windows 7 style start menu which i mean looks pretty cool because this has been i mean i'm sure a lot of uh, windows 8 years haven't seen this since like windows 8 released last year i mean uh, yeah, it is, uh, it's here, I mean, it looks, uh, pretty much, like, exactly like it, I mean, it is, uh, it does a very good job at, uh, you know, giving a lot of the, uh, start menu functionality back to Windows 8, and, like, all these buttons work, you can, like, uh, click on control panel, and it, like, actually brings out this, um, whole, uh, thing here, which I don't even think that Windows 7 did, uh, you can also click on this PC, and, you know, open up your little, uh, Windows Explorer, I think it's called File Explorer now actually, but there are a ton of uh, customization options within this little program and it's pretty cool, I'm going to be showing you a few of them, uh, so if you actually go down here to the button and you uh, right click on it and click on settings here, you're going to come up with this menu and you can just see how many tabs we have to go through, there are a ton of uh, settings, now you might not see uh, all of this at first, which is just pretty much because this uh, show all settings things might be off for you. You just want to turn that on, and you're going to see there's a ton of options. You can all, like change the um, menu style from the Windows 7 style to classic with two columns. It makes it kind of look like that. It also gives it that nice uh, fading animation when it fades in. Uh, you can even go back to uh, classic style, which makes it look like a Windows 95 star menu. I mean, it looks kind of you know basic, but you know, if, uh, if you like that, then, uh, yeah, it, it's there. You can also change the actual button icon down here with your own uh, custom one. As you see, you can make it the uh, classic shell icon. You can make it the classic start button icon. 
or you can uh, pick your own custom image which is pretty cool I don't think I have any images on this uh, virtual machine so um, I'm just going to uh, uncheck this option and I mean you, there's a ton of stuff you can do now if you don't like this flatter theme then you can click on the skin tab here and change uh, the skin from Windows 8 to Windows Arrow and you can see that it, it uh, kind of makes it look even more like a uh, Windows 7 start menu. Now it doesn't look exactly like it, but uh, considering it's not from Microsoft, it's like its own program. It's like a, a look at like a third-party thing. I mean, it's it does a pretty good job. But I'm not going to spend time going through every single one of these options because I, mean, I know that'll take way too long to make this video. But guys, I mean, that is going to pretty much wrap it up uh, for this video on how to get the old Windows 7 start menu back in Windows 8. Uh, again, this is free. Uh, I will have the link down below, ClassicShell.net. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if this helped you, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.